Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful Look how blue that sky is it Matches my truck Atlanta, Georgia Today is January the 5th, 2023 And I hope everybody is having an awesome start to their 2023 So I have got a really really dirty trim star this is embarrassing you can see where it got wet and I uh, rubbed my finger over it here this is uh yeah this is disgusting so I'm gonna see if I can get this clean today um, it's about 50 degrees out a little bit of a light breeze uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to use Dawn Dishwashing Platinum because that stuff is really, really good. If I didn't, if I hadn't run out of the Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash, I would have used that because that is a higher alkalinity cleaner and I'm not going to drive all the way to Walmart for that. So let's, uh, let's get set up and get this done.
So before I started this cleaning procedure, I told myself I am not going to do a super, super detailed job on this. So because it was so caked with grime and dirt, um, I had to get this out. This is just a, a green Scotch-Brite. I used almost no pressure on it whatsoever and just basically with soapy water it took everything else off the um the brush is okay um and i'm thinking had i not let it go this long it would have worked however here's the thing yellow and white are the absolute worst colors to show dirt and this thing was absolutely disgusting. And I started seeing the nice shiny yellow paint underneath when a couple areas that it did come off pretty easy with the brush. And I was like, you know what? Got to get this whole mower clean. So anyway, am I glad I did it now? Absolutely. So it um, <laughs> it's going to be bad the first time I use it when it's kind of wet and dusty. Um, or not wet and dusty, but wet and or dusty. Obviously at different times, but it is going to um, give me a little bit of stress because I don't want to get it dirty now. I always blow the mower off, always. But the problem is a lot of times it will be... Um, it'll be dusty, especially during the summer, and then later on in the day it'll get rained on because um, that's just what happens here in the summer and then it just kind of welds itself to the pain and you do that over and over and over because I'm not gonna come home and wash it I could it would make it a lot easier probably but I don't like using pressure washers on mowers if I can help it and I don't like using harsh chemicals so I did try the super clean uh, cleaner on the other side nothing works as good as that scotch bright pad so Yep, it is what it is. So if you're really trying to get your mower clean and you want it to look actually clean in all the nooks and crannies and it got dirty like that, just grab a Scotch-Brite pad and um, seriously, you don't have to put any sort of um, pressure on it at all. It'll, it'll come right off. But anyway, so the next video is probably going to be repairing the edge where it broke. Or I should say replacing it. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, it, did Edget ever respond? And yes, they did, and they were very gracious, and uh, I got another uh, Edget Pro. So, very happy with it, love it, And but that's for another video. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching the videos. Um, I'll give you one last shot of the clean, almost, it's got some scratches on the edges, but almost as clean as it was new. And this got, we are looking at 365.1 hours. Um, the reason that I have this piece of inner tube here is because this mower, when it sits out in the sun all day, either in the back of the truck or using it, uh, you can actually, this ultraviolet rays can bleach out this digital meter. So that's why I keep it covered. That way it'll last eh, as long as the mower. So anyway, thank you very much, and I will see you on the next video.